welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I've just been doing a series of little coasters and using different techniques. Um, so this is just 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. It's a ceramic tile. It's a matte finish. It can be a gloss finish. It doesn't matter. And I've just cleaned it with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. Um, so I just want to do a swipe today. And I'm going to um, put down the Amsterdam copper as a base um, and then I'm just going to put these three um, autumn or fall colors or they're just oranges um, and a little bit of silver and then I'm going to do um, a swipe through that so without further ado I shall just pour some of this lovely copper in the middle here I'm just going to spread that by just doing a bit of a tilt I know a lot of people do um, have quite a bit of a puddle in the middle when they do, or a pillow when they do a swipe. I prefer to have the paint a bit thinner. No particular reason, it's just how I like it. And it dries um, more easily without cracking too that way. So I am going to spin this out, but I'll try and get some of the um, paint right to the edges. I always like to cover my edges before I start so that when the paint does run off, it's got something to sort of stick hold to. So I'll just quickly cover that. It's interesting when you're looking at a bronze or a copper, they sort of have little um, bubbles in there, but they should um, dry okay. Should be the operative word. This is a beautiful copper. I do love copper. Okay. So now I'm just going to lay down these paints. This is the last of this little one I've got here, which is the global orange. And I've mixed it with the Amsterdam deep gold. I'm just going to lay some paint through the middle here. And then I'm going to put some of the Eroldo Metallic Burst Orange, which is a beautiful metallic colour. Just lay that through there. Hopefully we'll get some beautiful cell activity. I think we will. And this is just the Montmartre Beryllium, which I've also mixed the Amsterdam Deep Gold with to give this nice sort of very deep, sort of terracotta -y, but I don't know orangey red and I think I just want to put a little bit of silver through that just to give a slight variance to the color give a bit of contrast right so now I'm just going to take my little swipey tool, which is just an offset spatula, and I'm going to apply some of the global black with the Australian Flow Troll to the back of my little, my little offset spatula. And my cell activator is made up of one part paint to four parts Flow Troll. So now I'm just going to swipe through this in a bit of a pattern if I can. Actually, I'm just going to burst my bubbles first. And here we go. Okay. Always love to look at the back. <laughs> Oh, some nice cells coming up in there. I'm glad I put the silver in, it just gave that bit of contrast. So I'm just going to hit it with the heat embossing tool again, that will help to bring up any more cells. Oh, 
I'm not loving this plain black bit here where I had the cell activator that was um, probably could have done with having my spatula not putting the cell activator as far and having it maybe halfway so that I could go like that without getting all that black there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a meat skewer and use the flat end of it. And I'm just going to do some little um, wrecking lines through there. Just to break that up somewhat. So when I spin this out, that will give that a bit of shape there. It won't be so black. Just um, give it a bit of shape. This bit here needs something doing to it, so I'll just drag some of these into there. Maybe drag it back the other way as well. Okay. You can fiddle with these as much um, or as little as you want to. I want to just do a little bit of a wrecking line through here. And another one just back this way, just outlining where that silver is. Okay then, so now I'm just going to give it a gentle spin. different. I like it a lot. Very abstract. And just something as I say really different. I like it. I don't think I'll spin it anymore. Might just do a little bit of um, embellishing through there. I'm just not loving that shape there so I'll just bring a line through there. Down to there, like that, which makes that into some pretty sort of flower shape. And I'll do the same here. That's better, I like that a lot. And a bit of shape here as well, I think. Just a small bit of modification. Just going to do a twirl through that, but I like it just like it is. So where I had all that black, um, where I had too much on, well, I thought I had too much on the um, swipey tool, it's actually worked into my advantage with me being able to do these pieces up here, which uh, do look really pretty. I think. I'd love to know your opinion as well, if you'd like to um, let me know in the comments. I like where I've done the wrecking line here. I think I just like this here. Maybe I can just do a little bit of modification there. I don't want to do too much. You can go overboard.
Okay, I'm going to leave that just like that. Other than that. Beautiful. Right, I'll just hit it with the heat embossing tool one more time. And now I'll bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so here we are coming down for a close-up of the swipe that I did. I did a little bit of modification, as you can see, just here at the top. And that's where I had a lot of black cell activator on my swipe tool, um, but it did actually work to my advantage. It's very pretty there with the black on the, on the copper. And then I've got, of course, the swipe line here with a bit of silver in there. And then a bit of more modification here. Um, so I'm absolutely loving it, actually. One of the prettiest pieces I've done for a while. So I don't know how I'll go replicating it, but I'll give it my best shot. I'll get something similar, but um, not exactly the same. But, you know, that's fine because it's nice to have them all with a little bit of individuality. So I hope you like that one today, everyone. And um, I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. In the meantime, stay safe. Oh, and I forgot to mention, when you place your tile um, on the paper cup or the plastic cup to dry, make sure you've covered all your edges and also wiped any drips from underneath. Otherwise, your pattern may be on the table when you come back and check on it later. So we don't want that to happen. Okay, so um, once again, see you soon and um, happy painting. Bye-bye.